My name is Jelani Williams. I'm a senior at the University of Pennsylvania uh, studying communications and Africana studies uh, with, the com with the concentration in activism and advocacy. Um, a lot of the work that I've done on campus has been centered around, you know, what I experienced last summer protesting in D.C. for, you know, two, three weeks at a time. Um, and, and really just, um, you know, feeling the pulse of the people, being around, you know, the cause, understanding some of the, the initiatives behind the cause, et cetera. Um, and so what I decided to do uh, at the end of last summer was really just to bring kind of those issues to the forefront in the communities that I was in, you know, namely Penn Athletics and, and at the university at large. Um, you know, so I, I, I'm one of the founding members in, in the community outreach chair for, for BSAP, which is Black Students at Penn. Um, I was also a part of about 30 student athletes, Black student athletes that, you know, sat down with our athletic director and the other um, higher ups in the athletic department to talk about some of the things that we think need to change, namely, you know, the lack of representation in coaching and administration, um, the lack of, you know, adequate anti-racism training across the board for, you know, for students, for professors, for athletes, for coaches, et cetera, um, and a couple of other initiatives. Um, and I guess my, my overall message, you know, at this point would be that, uh, you know, we're still kind of waiting. Um, you know, we talked about a lot of stuff last year and even over the last couple of months just about, you know, things we can do to support black students, uh, black student athletes, things that we can do to, you know, put safeguards in place so that we get, you know, more representation, um, you know, in coaching and administration, uh, things that we can do, you know, to make black student athletes feel more comfortable, uh, like having, you know, our own meeting space and, you know, having things for us to you know feel like we have a community going and, and we can be around each other and honestly not much of that stuff you know has, has come to fruition um so my overall message would be you know to put some action behind the words i think penn has done a masterful job at saying the right things um and honestly you know that's all cool but at the end of the day things have to change um and i'm not going to be here next year so i guess my message to leave with the university is like you know, don't let the student activists who were here um, and who kind of pushed and propelled this thing forward, um, don't let all the work that we tried to do go to waste. Um, don't let, you know, what we're trying to stand for leave with us. Um, that's something that I've thought about a lot, you know, as some of the people who were here with me last year have left, the conversations have died down uh, significantly. Um, and so I think that's that's a big part of it is just figuring out how to keep this thing going, even when the students who are pushing for it the most are gone. Um, and I think part of that comes from, you know, finding people, you know, with power that can that can represent us. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my overlying message is just not to let it die and to continue fighting for, you know, what we're trying to start and what we what we've been trying to start for about the past year or so.